Let's get the sport now. Here's Sunny Rudra. Rudra, I knew Rudra Vajula. You gave me a little post-it note with it on, didn't you, Sunny? <laughs> yeah, it was. A, it was a good there attempt. Go. Sorry, yeah. Don't worry. It's all written down in front of me and everything. <laughs> Sunny's here with the sport. 334 is the target for England in the first ODI match with South Africa in Durham. Kevin Howells is across all the action. It's feeling just a little bit, I stress, a little bit cooler at the moment. Um, and also quite cool. There's a couple of. Bounces out there at Jason Roy and Johnny Bairstow going along their business, chasing down that 334, currently with a score of 73 for no wicket. One ball left of the 15th over Jason Roy's on 36, Johnny Bairstow 32. We didn't see a single six in that 333 as posted by South Africa. We saw one fairly early on from Jason Roy and a couple of fours, three fours for Johnny Bairstow as well, but nice and tight from South Africa and the bowlers at the moment. A real cat and mouse about this at this stage. 73 for no wicket, 15 overs gone, 334 being the target. You can catch ball-by-ball ball commentary on Test, ba- Test Match Special on Sports Extra right now. England's reserve goalkeeper Hannah Hampton is the latest member of the squad to be in isolation with COVID. Head coach Serena Viegman is hoping to be back in time for the quarter-final match with Spain tomorrow in Brighton. Here's captain Leah Williamson. For somebody like Hannah, we want her around the team and it's disappointing for her to miss out. And obviously, Serena, that's on, you know, see see how that, that works out. Um, and ideally, you'd have everybody available. But I think, I'm, you know, we're lucky that we're such a well-prepared team. And despite the frustration, I think it's, it doesn't derail us at all. And veteran midfielder Jill Scott knows all about this stage in a major tournament. She made her England debut back in 2006. The players that have gone before, all the staff over the years that have uh, put work into bringing women's football to the next level and not necessarily getting paid for it, volunteering. And yeah, there's been a few moments where I've been like, this has been so special. And we've, of course, got commentary here and all your pre-match build-up from Five Live Sports uh, from Seven. And you can press the red button on BBC One's coverage to stick with Five Live commentary too. Donny van der Beek says Eric Ten Hag's appointment gives every player a fresh start and a chance to get into Manchester United's first 11. He, along with Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial and Eric Bailly, have been getting plenty of game time during the pre-season tour of Australia. For everyone, it's a new start. I mean, uh, there is a new manager, of course, and a new chances for everyone, not only for me or for Marshall or, or Bailey, just for every player and everyone wants to show it. At United beat Crystal Palace 3-1 in Melbourne earlier today. And stage 16 of the Tour de France was claimed by Hugo Uhl. He's the first Canadian stage winner since Steve Bauer in 1988. Jonas Vignago still is the overall defend- lead with uh, defending champion Tadej Pog-Akar in second and Britain's Garayant Thomas in third.